And, you know, I think that will be done economically. Uh, when the price of gas starts getting a ridiculous amounts and people cannot afford to drive, then they'll start thinking, well, you know, but I could afford to take a train every day. But the train would be just about like... But it's not just the train. It's it's uh, multimodal forms of efficient transportation, you know? But just about it's, like the bus system, though, you it's get all, to depending on it, and then all of a sudden, oh, there's not enough ridership at this time of day, we'll shut that off. So. Well, it's also a matter of, um, of designing walkways and pathways and uh, bike trails and, and building our neighborhoods and communities to where you don't have to rely on hopping in a car to go to the market or hopping in the car to go to your job or hopping in the car to go to school, you know? It's a purposely designed thing and it has been subsidized by the government. And when you drop that subsidy, that, you know, just like any kind of government subsidy, it creates weak, unnecessary crap. And when you drop that subsidy and you put people's feet to the fire and you say, you need to do a responsible uh, uh, way of doing things. You need to come up with it. You need to be ingenious. The people people that, will adapt and overcome and will come up with something that works. The people that get screwed, though, are the ones that don't have the way... Yeah, you can... From where you live, you could say, okay, I'll ride, ride, their, ride their light rail. But say somebody out in the boonies in a slum, there's no light rail out there. They can't afford to get to a job, so they're screwed. Until such times it becomes economically feasible to run the light rail out there. Well, we're, not just gonna talking, happen. we're not just talking about light rail. I mean, we're talking about anything. multimodal. Anything. They can't even make a bus work out there. No, hold well, they got the streets already there. For what that. is what is really really odd is in the late in the uh, middle to late 1800s, you did have things that people could use. What did people do before they had cars? Do you think they rode the horse and buggy everywhere? Nope. They had um, they had the. Uh, but they didn't have Ford out in Clay Como. They didn't have Surrey in North Kansas City. But they had people people were able to get back and forth people were commuting from Excelsior Springs to downtown Kansas City every day to work you know how yeah. they did it they rode but they rode the um, uh, what they call they rode the inner urban you remember those things you know, those things died before anybody is alive the, the last big inner urbans died in um, in Illinois in the 1950s and that that inner urban ran all over the state. People were able, literally were able to commute to St. Louis from central Illinois if they wanted to. Or they could go shopping in down.